Hi, thanks for joining in. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to design or to build your own skate park? Meet Chiggy, who owns a skate park on the Sunshine Coast. Chiggy loves to teach, so he designed his own skate park. He asked his mate from the amazing Ashley Wild Ramps to help with the build. This is the mighty half pipe uh, that he designed and made. How much fun does it look? Hey, quick refresher, when we're drawing in 3D or isometric, we use mostly three angles and you'll see them right there. So we're using the splat to draw in 3D today. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to speed up, but I'm freehanding a sneak peek ahead. Notice how I'm using all of those isometric lines, except for little curved details and parts like that, off in the other direction. The only thing left to do is to draw in um, his stairs or ramps. And of course, here's Chiggy gaining a bit of speed right up the half pipe on the other side. And here he is continuing on, getting some real air there, Chiggy. And he's upside down. I wonder if he'd be able to make it all the way back to the other side of the half pipe. Maybe to do that, he might need some little rocket boosters there. And there's other types of drawings too like looking straight on at the side or straight down at the top. But those kinds of views don't give you the 3D effect. So we'll be working with isometric lines. Let me show you where this term half pipe comes from. If I draw an ellipse, which is like a circle in 3D, and I'll draw another half one at the back, I've drawn a cylinder. If I make it hollow, can you imagine that that is a piece of pipe? Now I'm using my isometric line to cut that in half. So that top piece I'll erase and then draw what I'd see. Now I've got a half pipe. If I uh, rub out that far quarter and then I redraw it slid out a little bit, then I've still got a half pipe, but it's got a little flat section in the middle. So that's the basis of what we're going to be drawing today. All right, let's get started. Here's your starting point. Come across 10 centimeters on your page and then come up three centimeters. Make a dot and that's your starting point. So bring the point of the splat down on there. Make sure you splat straight up and down. And then mark in those three isometric lines that we talked about. I'm using a ruler and I'm extending one of those lines out. Make your lines nice and light. I'm drawing them a little darker so that you can see. All right, so that's a nice long line. Now I'm going to mark off one splat length. And then I'm replacing it and marking off two three splats, four splat lengths, and come up as well. See that little dent? Come from the dent right down. We'll call that the blip. All right, in between those first two marks, I'm dividing it in half. And then I'm going to come straight up one splat length. Join those two at the top using your splat or isometric angle. We're gonna do the same thing at the back. Halfway between those two marks, line up your splat on that line to make sure that's straight up and down and from the little blip come down at the top use the isometric line to join great uh, we're going to need a little bit of thickness at the bottom i think if i go halfway in between those two copy that line up a little bit to give it some thickness on the bottom now the fun part, let's draw the curves on this half pipe. It's going to start from there and it's going to come straight down or on an angle. But where it meets that straight line at the bottom, it's got to be um, no bump, right? So come down and round and meet it nice and smooth, then darken it in. The curve looks a little bit different on the other end, but it still starts and finishes in the same place. Drop a line down on an angle and think about it's got to meet nice and flat there. So really lightly come down and try fitting a curve in there. And when, you've, uh, when you're happy with how it looks, then come back and darken it in. So that's the profile or the shape of the half pipe. Squiggly line means I'm going to come back and erase those lines. I'm going to get you to put your splat back in the original position and on that left splat line that we drew, extend it out one more on the same angle. I'm going to do the same thing from each point. So from there, one splat length, slide and extend. Now use the edge of the splat to draw a vertical line and join those two points together. Watch as I do the same thing from those two points at the back. One, two. Don't worry if your lines don't join up, they're, they're a little wobbly, because when we finish the drawing, we can come back over it and darken it in. Remember, your drawing should be nice, light lines. At the back, I'm going to use the right splat angle to join those. 
All right, great. So it looks like I've missed one there. Let's go ahead and fill that one in. Hey, one more tricky line to go. You won't need tracing paper. I'm just using it to demonstrate something. So remember we talked about that profile that we designed at the very start. I'm imagining sliding that along to the very end and that's the shape that we need to draw in at the end and there it is. The smaller the skateboarders that you draw in will make the half pipe look even bigger. Let's add a ramp to get up on top. From that starting point come forwards on your isometric angle. Now from the end of that line to the top just grab a ruler and then join those two together. So you're making like a triangle. You're racing some lines here. You guys have heard of parallel lines, right? Okay, so copy a parallel line from that point. Now make it longer than you need it, because to find the end, put your splat on that point, and then draw a line out there. Where it crosses over, boom. On the far end, we're going to start a little further down. So draw a right splat line, and then from that point, come down, and then where it hits the bottom, come forwards. When I say come forwards, I mean on the splat angle. So, just like before, we're joining the ends of those two lines to make a triangle. I'd erase that line there, and then draw a parallel line that starts from that point. And then to find the end, line up your splat and draw a right splat line. Oop, looks like that one wasn't quite long enough, so let's fix that up. Great! Just for those super advanced drawers, we're going to raise half the platform. So draw a splat line to divide that in half. And what I'm going to get you to do is to draw from those three points a short vertical line. Make sure these lines are all the same length, just in three places. Now connect the top of them using your splat, and then out to the left. Great, now I'm going to stop here and erase a few of the lines. And then we're going to complete those two back edges. To do that, rotate your splat and then use that angle for the long edge and that one for the short edge. I'm trying to imagine what a skater would look like um, upside down. So this skater, is this is her signature move, I'm imagining. So here she is, um, she's got the hand on the little rail there and it's got the skateboard upside down. It's going to need some wheels on the bottom there. Who'd learn to skate if they gave up on the very first time they fell down? Well, it's like drawing. Don't worry if your drawings look really bad at first. Just keep drawing and they will get better. So after a massive um, flying through the burning ring, this skater is now grinding down the side of the ramp. I picked up this whole box of art markers for about $30, which is um, super cheap. Usually I use pencils on just photocopy paper, but if you're using markers, you're going to need a special paper called a bleed proof paper. If you want to, you could find some images of skaters and cut them out. Here's a picture of Chiggy. I've printed him out, cut him out, and now I'm looking to position him. So I think, uh, yeah, maybe leaning back, that looks pretty natural. So remember when you're pushing it down, you don't tear him. Put a piece of paper over it and use that um, to firm him down. And so there's Chiggy, just about to drop in. Looking good, Chiggy. I've had a great time drawing a half pipe today. I wonder what you can add to this drawing to make it your own. Could you draw it facing the other direction? Could you draw it wider? Have you got something totally new in mind? Stay tuned for part two, Drawing Grind Rails.